Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Radio Broadcasting Network. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Connect, and Building Solid Foundation. Welcome everyone here at the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. I am your host, Marie Antoinette Waite, and we are live on KCAA Radio Network here on 1050 AM and 106.5 FM. We are covering over 5 million households in the greater Los Angeles, and we are in your favorite streaming channels. We're talking about iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, you name it, we are in there. And you can also subscribe on Building Solid Foundations channel via Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Android app. So today we're going to be talking about foundation in business. And I have an amazing guest for you. His name is Cornelius Bryant. He is the founder of the Renaissance Men School of Etiquette. Uh, he his experience is public and motivational speaker for business, nonprofits, private and public events. Cornelius was born in England, Arkansas, and moved to California at the age of three. After graduating from high school in 1979, Cornelius joined the Carpenters Union in 1981 as a carpenter's apprentice and became the first black carpenter superintendent in Riverside County. He is a parent to five children and 12 grandchildren. That's amazing. After working part-time as an etiquette instructor, he grew a passion for not only teaching etiquette skills, but life skills. He retired after 38 years as a carpenter in 2019 to start the Renaissance Man uh, School of Etiquette. He attended the RSVP Institute of Etiquette and became certified etiquette instructor. So let's go ahead and welcome Cornelius. Hi, Cornelius. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for having me. That is exciting uh, resume you have there, Cornelius. Uh, this is incredible. So, you know, uh, so you live in Riverside County, is that right? Yes, I do. Okay. And how many years in uh, Riverside? Uh, since 1998. So that's what, 20, 26 okay. years. Yeah. Well, your background is a public and motivational speaker. Is that your main thing? But it looks like you have this school of etiquette. What is the relationship between your public speaking versus the uh, teaching of etiquette school? Well, I teach the etiquette and life skills. So, you know, a lot of time when people think of etiquette, they think of eating with your finger pointed out and stuff like that. But it's more to that. Etiquette is really a, just manners. Back in, when we were young, we used to call it uh, home training. And so I teach all the different life skills that pertain to life. And it helps people out. And But when I do public speaking, it's more as a group. But when I teach the etiquette skills, it's more like smaller groups. That way you can get a build a relationship with people. And you can interact with everybody a little more uh, closer. Because a lot of times what we found out is that in smaller groups, you know, people have a tendency to open up more and you can establish a better relationship, a personal one with them. As opposed to a group, you have a big group of people and you're talking, you're talking, you don't have a clue of who's there or who's not there. But in the class itself, you know, it's more intimate and you're able to really connect with people because a lot of times people feel like other people don't even know they exist. So this way you create that one-on-one -on -one relationship. Okay. So uh, were you observing so many things in the business world that is lacking this kind of skills to a lot of the professionals we have right now? It is, but see, the thing I did, because I did commercial construction, our work is different than most, like if you work in an office or a profession like that, because we're outside. But yet over the years, you know, guys would come to me and they would talk to me about their problems, different issues they were having. So it became almost like I was a counselor, you know, plus the superintendent. I mean, it would get to the point I have to get to work and lock my doors because people come in and, you know, they all have these issues and they want you to help them out. And 
you know, they can't talk to anybody, so they want to talk to you. And then that's when you start learning that, you know, if you think like grown men, you know, won't have issues. But then the thing you learn, a lot of people, the grown men, they have these issues. And a lot of them stem from things like from their childhood. And so that's when you just start learning. That's when I started learning, you know, about the life skills part of how important that was. Okay. So I'm trying to understand the relationship of the etiquette from what you just shared with us. So if people are having trouble with the way they're communicating with people, um, how does that uh, play into the picture with you know teaching them on the etiquette side of it? Well, the etiquette side is more like with the manners and stuff, but the life skills, that's what come in to play with the people. Okay, so as the, when you think of etiquette, it's like you're dressed, the way you carry yourself, and all that, but the, the life skills is what your life is and how your life relates to the things that you do for etiquette and how you carry yourself, how you dress, how you feel about yourself. Okay, I now I, I'm getting it. Okay, so, and, and who are the people that you normally would be bringing into this class? What kind of, what kind of uh, business professionals would, you know, be, you know, a part of this class? Well, usually from a business standpoint, the people who are coming to the class will be people like, let's say if you're new to your profession, let's say, for example, if you're a banker or something, so now you need to know how to dress. So then you come to this class, I'll teach you the skills of dressing and how to carry yourself. But then if you already know these skills, let's say, for example, if you start off like uh, in a lower level of the office, now you move up. So now you have to go out and mingle with the customers and with the clients. So that's when your eating skills come in. So now I'm teaching you how to eat the proper utensil to use, how do you carry yourself in that environment? So it shifts from level to level. Okay, and so, so it, it looks like you you have uh, a lot of experience on this. What was your background in relates to this kind of skills? You know, it's funny just that when, when we grew up, you know, my parents taught us these skills. You know, we, we had to be well-groomed when we went outside. And when we ate, we had to go places. We had to have manners when we talked to people. And, you know, it was just that you just can't go out and look at any kind of way or act in any kind of way because that, of course, that represented them. And so that's how I got the initial skills. But then as I grew up working in the different environments, you know, especially working when you have to represent not only yourself but your company, as I did, and that's when you develop personal skills, you know, how to act with people on different personal levels. And so all that just built in and just ended up just creating, helping me to be where I am today. And then once I got to that level and um, I went to the, uh, get my license, my certificate as a certified edit instructor, then that took you to a, uh, took me to a different level as far as the dining skills go and interacting with different people. Okay, well, I see that you have uh, about nine items that you teach people uh, in this uh class um it's called renaissance man of school of etiquette right one is your communication skills uh next is social skills the third one is called proper hygiene and then the fourth one you have personal grooming uh fifth one is proper attire uh the sixth item here it says bathroom etiquette <laughs> that's interesting uh the seven is accountability Eight is consideration for others. And lastly, is dining etiquette. Wow, that is a great package there of uh, learning how to, you know, be at your best. That's why it's called life skills. Okay. Yeah, because see, I want to do, because etiquette, like I said, most, most of etiquette classes, they deal with dining. You know, your dining skill, your dining etiquette, you know, how to eat with your different utensils and how to carry yourself in a dining situation. But I want it to be more. I want it to help people with their life to improve their life. So our, our model here is influence, impact, and inspire. And that's what we do. We know influence, impact, and inspire people to be the best they can be. Because a lot of times people say, well, those skills you teach, those are, those are everybody knows that. I mean, everybody should know that. Okay, but then, so let me ask you this. You are, you have five children and 12 grandchildren. Yes. Now, do they all go through your classes? <laughs> no, no. I wish they would. But a lot of time it's easier to help outside people than your family, believe it or okay. not. Yes, but, but they do. They're well-mannered. 
And so, but when I started doing this, you know, this just started, like I say, in, in uh, quite a, a few years ago, but my youngest son is 35 years old. So they just got this one where he's growing up at home, but not this uh, quality of, uh, of, of raising or these skill levels. Okay. And uh, when did you start this uh, school? 2019. 2019. Okay. 20, yes. Yeah, 2019. I, I, I did say that. <laughs> uh -huh, that's 2019. right. Okay. So, so far, um, have you, uh, how many people have you helped uh, when you started this school? Um, hundreds of people. I, I can't name it. And thing of it is, there are different levels. So as you, as you can see, I have the nine uh, core things that I teach. Okay. So, so sometimes people, they you know from a time frame, because of course it takes a while to teach these classes, sometimes depending on how many. That's why I like to deal in smaller groups. It can take a couple of days. But sometimes, for example, people may only want to do two of the skills. Like com what I get most often from younger people and younger parents, they want to do the communication skills and social skills plus the dining. Okay. And so you can you, you don't have to just do them all, but so you can just select ones that you want to do. Oh, and that so, is amazing. That's good. Yeah. They just wanted to concentrate on one of the nine items you have, then you can uh you know just focus on that. Now, um, how long do they normally last this kind of classes? Let's say if I wanted to just take communication skills, how long is the, the class? Usually two hours. Two hours. Okay. I like to do two hours. I started off with an hour. What I found out is that a lot of times an hour is not enough because what we do is we break down each skill into each component. So with communication skills, a lot of times there's other things that is part of it, like listening. You know, okay. the different there are different communication skills, your body language, solid language, you know, eyes and body motion and all that stuff. That's what goes into the communication skills. So it's not just something, oh, we talk, we talk, we talk. That's okay. That's your communication skills. Of course, the way you talk, that is part of it. But how you talk is just as important as talking itself. Because if you're talking with someone, if they don't understand the language you're using, or or not only language, even if you're speaking English, but if you're speaking way up here, and but they don't comprehend all the words you're using. You know, it's not communicating. It's just almost like someone speaking a foreign language to you. Okay. Is this like a setup of a group of people or is it like a one-on-one -on -one session? Well, some are one-on-one -on -one because some people, like I get a lot of people, they want one-on-one -on -one because they don't want people to know that they're in a class or to know that they, they lack these skills or they want to brush up on these skills. But the groups, a lot of times they go longer. That's why I started going longer because you get different people with different inputs. And so now you get this conversation going and everybody starts off, they don't wanna say anything, they're nervous, they're shy. But next thing you know, you can't shut them up. Like, okay, um, that's it, we gotta go, we gotta go. They wanna keep going and going. Okay. So it's good. All right, well, we're gonna take a commercial break right now, Cornelius, and to all of you out there who's listening to our show, Fabulous Lifestyle Radio. Uh, we are here every Sunday at, at 3 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. And again, don't go away. We will be right back. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Radio Broadcasting Network. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by... Sheltered Studios, Fire Connect, and Building Solid Foundations. 